In this video, we're going to be building a live streaming system using an 8320FX AMD chip and see, can it handle modern day streaming? by the channel thanks for stopping by and on this channel we focus on tips training strategies reviews and bills to help modernize your media ministry so if you're new here consider subscribing so this is actually going to be for my um, sister and brother-in-law's church where they were my second church client that I ever helped getting um, live streaming with a full video system and everything like that and at the time the fastest, most reliable system um, processor we were able to get with inside the budget was an FX chip. So right now, I've already been using an FX 8320 at my church. So what I'm going to do is actually donate the parts to them, and I'm going to upgrade their system to the 8320 that we have with a bigger motherboard with the GeForce 750 Ti um, with a Decklink Mini. And because they've been having some stuttering issues with their stream, and I think a GPU, like in my previous video, would help enhance the ability of their stream. So let's go ahead and do a quick build, shall we? All right, so like I said in a previous video, the problem with this is this is the slot that's needed. And I mean, this is running our uh, GT 1030 graphics card and then here's our Decklink Mini. As you can see there are no other PCIe slots and the graphics card that can go in here needs to take up two slots. So if it did, boom, it would take up these two slots and then there's no place for this card. So we could switch out the whole motherboard, put a Ryzen chip in there and that would work, but just based on what the budget was, that's not what's going to be ideal for this current situation. Now I did recommend to them after we do this, if you have any other issues, you have no other choice but to upgrade because all of these parts are about three to four generations old. Um, might be older than that. But what we're going to do is replace all of that with this. So this is going to be our GTX 750. We have more than enough slots. I'm not going to put it that close. Like, well, I'm going to put it right here, so it's enough space for our uh, deck link here, or we could place it right here. Probably going to place it right here, so it won't get in the way of fans. But we still have another slot available. This is another 8320, which I'm going to going to use because it would be easier instead of pulling the chip out and all that other stuff like that. And because we have plenty of memory left. This will actually be at 32 gigs of memory compared to the 16, I believe that system is. Uh, but either way, it's going to be double the memory at minimum. This will be dedicated for the encoding, and it will be more than enough space for the Decalink mini recorder. So now I just need to do is take all the pieces out and then put the new system in, and let's go.
All right, so the system is built and I've already actually dropped it off at the church. Did a test stream there and it looks like everything is performing well, but the real test is gonna be tomorrow at church. So I'm gonna be at my church, but I'll be monitoring their live stream just to see if there are any stuttering issues or any of the issues that they mentioned before. So again, some of the old stuff can still be used. So don't be so quick to throw that stuff away, but just realize if there was any problem with that stuff, because it's been discontinued, long past been discontinued, you're going to have to go ahead and upgrade. But the best thing to do is try and use the gear that you got as best as you can until you realize that there's nothing that can be used with it. So anyway, hopefully that helped them and hopefully you got something out of that. And if you like this type of content, I appreciate a like, consider subscribing and hit that bell. That way you get notified when we come out with other videos to help modernize your media ministry. This is AJ and we will see you on the next video later.